Welcome to another episode of AM Whiskey. I'm Aaron and this is Mark. And today, Mark's got a little surprise going for us. I'm not exactly sure what this is. We got a uh, little decanter up here and uh, I'm gonna let Mark uh, explain what we're doing today. So this is a connected video. We recently had a, had a sampling of some Pappy 15, which we did an episode on. Make sure you check it out. This is poor man's Pappy. So it's a mixture okay. of Weller 12 and Weller Antique 107. It's about 60% um, Weller Antique, about 40% Weller 12. The way I do it is I just get a measuring cup. I put, I make them in 500 milliliter batches, like 300 milliliters into the, the um, decanter of 107, 200 milliliters of 12 into the canter. And I go from there. I've made this probably, I think this is my second batch I've made okay. through the years of it. And I generally really, really like it. Now, am I supposed to compare this to the Pappy? Or well, am I just supposed to go on its own? And then we'll see. <coughs> I think you should judge the whiskey on its own. Okay. And maybe, you know, either during or at the end, you can, you can make some references back. I think it's gonna, like the whiskey will drink how the whiskey drinks and it'll, It'll shine through, and you'll see what the differences are. I mean, it's it's got legs. It does have legs. It's uh, I'm getting a lot of oak on the nose. Yeah. I think that's the influence of the twelve. So on this nose, the oak and the wood shines through, and it's kind of up front. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm getting a lot of oak. I'm not getting a lot else. I'm getting. I mean, a, kind of a floral note in the background, but mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's like I'm walking through an oak forest with some, a spattering of flowers somewhere around that gives me a little bit of a floral note. Not really getting any spice. See, I can smell a touch of spice yeah, behind well, the yeah. oak. Um, I get the floral thing that you talked about. When you said it, I was finally picking up on it. I'm not actually really getting uh, maybe a touch of caramel or vanilla <laughs> on my right nostril. I don't, I don't know why it's my right nostril, but on my right nostril. What have you been doing lately? I'm get, I am getting some grape big league chew. Really? That's a... It's, it's uncanny. I don't think I've ever gotten something like that. I wish I could breathe out of just one nostril at a time. It is literally like just grape bubble gum. Like mm. Big League Chew, Hubba Bubba, whatever that bubble gum that you liked as a kid. I'm getting that there. Just on the, the right sweet, nostril. The sweet and the floral are starting to come forward more. Yep. Yeah, the more we're doing it. But you know what? The nose only gets you so far. On the nose, though, that, that last note picked me up. I'm going to give this... I'm going to go... An eight on the nose. I really liked this. I'm gonna give it an eight five, okay. and, I'm, and I'm debating on a nine because there's so many different things. Like it started out with wood, and then it changed to it this. Is, it and is. It changed to that. You could you this. could talk me into bumping this up, but I'm I'm gonna stick to my initial guns. I mean that that great. Bubble gum note was pretty. I don't know. Uh, I, I really like the complexity of the nose. It's rare to know that I get this many things. Yeah, I. I'm gonna go nine. Yeah, I. I mean, I got. I'm gonna go nine. <laughs> I'm gonna go nine. It's just there's just too many different things for me going on. I we'll see if it shines through and comes through in the palette. I'm not gonna let you influence me. I'm gonna stick with my eight. But now, yeah. uh, now's the real test. Now's the real test. Pretty oily. I mean, I am not at all disappointed in this. No, no, it is rock solid. Somebody gives me this, and it's rock you know solid. what? I am, I'm getting a little bit of that grape bubblegum note still, and I don't know if it's that combination of the the floral note, just how it's. Eating my my tongue, but that's what's coming to mind. I used to love me some great big league chew oh, when I was a kid. Man. I wish I was getting that because I used to love me that big league chew. 
I mean, there's definitely, I get that oak that was so prominent on the first nose that I got. Um, oh, I mean, this is solid. Ooh, it drinks so easy. It's so easy. There's, there's a, a little bit of spice all throughout. It's really, really light. I get a real light hint of oak. I'm not getting, I, I got a, there's a sweet profile that carries on through it. I'm not getting anything overly distinctive right now in the sweet. Yeah, the uh, that grape note went away with my second sip, and it was just straight like honey vanilla mm -hmm. with that oak. Still got that background floral note that's that's there, but it wasn't prominent. I mean, that's. I definitely would say I like this more. Then I like 107 by itself, and I like this more than I like well over 12 by itself. I've yes. never, I've never had, I've I think had, I could I've say. never had lot B. I don't know if this drinks like lot B. I know some people say it does, and they say it kind of drinks like 15. We just recently had 15. This doesn't drink like 15. It's, it's its own, it's its own animal. It's semi similar, but it's not the same. Well, and that's why they call it poor man's pappy. It, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. But it's, I mean, it's a damn, damn good pour. I'm not complaining at all. Um, do I get the, the richness that we got on the pappy? No. Probably not. No. But the flavors, I'm probably really getting more complexity in the flavors. Mm -hmm. That pappy 15 is such a caramel bomb but it just does it so well. This, you're getting a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And it does it well, but you're getting more. Not quite as well, but still pretty darn good. I'm gonna give it a 17.5 on the palette. Um, I really like it. It's it's complex. There, there's a, a layer of spice throughout. There, the sweet goes on, it carries. I'm not getting a lot of real distinct notes, um, at least for myself, but I'm getting a good amount of, of everything, and I, and I like it, right? I um, like it. There's nothing offensive. I also gave it a 17.5. Woohoo! Uh, it's, it's just a solid pour. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a lot of spice, you're not going to get that. It is very sweet forward. But there is that hint of oak. There is a little bit more uh, spice and it's a well-rounded sweet. You're getting different, different notes within that sweet. I got some honey. I got some, some of that floral note, which was kind of sweet. At that one point, I did get that grape big league chew. And I don't know if that was just because it was coming off the nose and I was still living in that nostalgia of you know, playing Little League with that, but. It's finish time. Have you finished your glass yet? Oh, you're about done. You caught up quick. The finish is where I think Pappy really kind of separates itself from this. This does not have the finish that I got from Pappy. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's fairly long. It's good. Like, it stays on the palate for a good 30 count, at least, probably. I mean, I mean it's there for a while. And I think with it's most... Not sh it's not short. It's not short, by any means. And I think with most Buffalo Trace products, especially towards the higher end of the products, and I would say the Weller 12 and 107 are both towards that higher end. They're not, you know, BTAC. They're not the, the Pappy collection. But they're, I mean... There's still no, no slouches. This isn't Special Reserve or Benchmark 8. Mm, like, yeah. th these are decent bottles. Oh, yeah. So you're going to get that finish, but it's not going forever. And, I mean, neither one of these, I mean, Antique 107 is at 107 proof. So it's not like you're getting that yeah. 120, 130. It doesn't, dr I mean, it. I would say this is probably... Go ahead. 100 proof. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a couple. It's probably a 
based on the math, it's probably a couple points ahead of a hundred or yeah, right around I mean, hundred, give or take. And I'd say it. I mean, I don't know the exact proof point of Weller twelve. Nine ninety. Ninety. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's going to be a little below that one hundred seven. It's going to be somewhere between the hundred and one hundred seven, and it drinks that way. It drinks a hundred, um, give or take. The finish, I'm going to give it six point five. I gave it a seven. Gave it a seven. Now the price and availability is where I'm struggling. So retail for one hundred seven and twelve, well or twelve, yeah, fifty sixty bucks if you can find it at retail. Now there's multiple releases. Um, it's hard to come across both. It's very hard to come across both, but you can find them. Secondary market, you know, 107 is for, I don't know, uh, 150, 175. Yeah, I mean, you see it all over the place. Well, our 12 is a more expensive one. You're talking 250, 300. Um, you can find them. Um, together, let's say you paid full secondary for both, you're probably talking 400, 450 bucks. Um, don't tell him. Yeah, don't tell him that. But, you know, I think I'm going to give it a five. Just middle of the road because if you really want to get them, I think you can. I think you can eventually find them and not have to pay secondary. Um, especially if, you know, you frequent the same liquor store. Eventually you're going to get hooked up. Um... I'm going to give it a five. I'm going three. The big reason, I agree with everything that you say. If you frequent the same liquor store and it's a volume liquor store that they are into the whiskey, you will probably be able to come across both of these bottles. You might have to get lucky. You might have to win a raffle or a lottery or, you know, again, if you're a frequent customer, spend some dollars. Maybe they'll hook you up. Uh, let you know but you also need two bottles to make this and that's where I go go down in, in price is because you don't have to just get lucky once you have to get lucky twice yeah you have to get both bottles to be able to make this that being said if you have both bottles which are good bottles on their own I saw you take the swig of the 107 oh you saw that what, what so what do you think of the 107 compared to this off the rip to be fair, that's also a store pick, uh, 107, so it's not the standard 107. Uh, that was very good. I think adding the Weller 12 adds some complexity that just isn't there in the normal 107. I think I prefer this to either of the two on their own. Mm -hmm. I think they both add something to the... You know, the sum of its parts are, are greater than the whole, maybe, or less than the whole. You know, whatever that saying is, it's better when they're together than it is their, their parts. Mm -hmm. um, I think I had that backwards, but that's okay. We'll edit that out. Um, no, I agree with you. I think that the again, they're both are, yeah. are better together. Yeah. They're both really good on their own. Not slouches. Happy if I can get either one. What I will say is if I have one bottle of 107 and one bottle of 12, I'm probably leaving those bottles alone. If I get a backup of both of those, I might make me a poor man's pappy. Or if I've already drank through some of those bottles on its own, I could see myself doing it just to get it. Part of that is just because these are hard to find bottles. They're not just go onto your shelf and grab them. So part of me wants to just experience them for what they are. So but this, this is decanter, my first Weller 107, my first Weller 12, I started making poor man Pappy. I got my Weller 107 at retail, 60, 65 bucks. I paid partial secondary for my Weller 12. I paid 125 for it. Okay. And um, instantly, you know, I had been researching. I already knew what I wanted to do. I was going to go to 60-40 route versus 50-50. And that's why I cut it back to 300 milliliters from one bottle, 200 milliliters from each, because each bottle is 750. So that left me more than half of the bottle of each left if I didn't like it. Not bad. And so when I poured it, I tried it, you know, very quickly after mixing them, knew I was going to like it, and then I let it sit for two months. 
and the two months made it way better. Like yeah. this batch is yeah. six months old. You got to give it time to meld and mix. Mm -hmm. um, that's important. My question is, were you more willing to pay that 125 for the 12 just so that you could make this? Yes. That's why. Yep. Yeah, because I had the 107 for six months and I had never seen right. a Weller 12. Saw it on the, on the shelf at the store. They were asking 175. I said, hey, will you take 100? I said, no, no, no. Hey, will you take 150? No, no, no. We do 125. Well, cash? Yeah, got it right here. Boom, on the counter, got the bottle, right? I mean, I negotiated, right? It, they were asking 175. I negotiated it down to 125. But my, and that's why I went a little lower on the price and availability because mm -hmm. you do need that, those two bottles. And if you're specifically trying to make this, you're probably willing to pay a little bit more. Oh yeah. Is no. it worth it? That's, that's for you to decide. I'm not going to put any judgment on any price that you want to pay for a bottle. If you want to, you want a bottle, you pay what you want for it. Yep. No shame here. Yep. Especially if you've ever tried it before. I went in a little blind. I wanted to do it. Yeah. I had been searching and looking for a Weller 12 for over a year already. At that point, I'd had the 107 sitting. I just made the decision to pull the trigger. And and I'm happy with the end result because yeah. I still this is very good. have enough of each to make another batch and have some Weller 12 left over at the end. So overall, this comes in as a 35 for me. Mm -hmm. I came in at 38. And I would say, I mean, a lot of that was the difference in the price and availability. And that for me, that was mostly because of the needing two bottles. So you're paying for two bottles that are harder to find. So it, if you're going secondary for both of these, it gets very expensive. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's good. It and, is good. And I would say that this is better than the bottles on their own. Oh yeah. It's not as good as 15, right? There's not as good as 15. Not as good as 15. It's, it's, it's got some better. things that, that 15 does, mm -hmm. um, just not to the level that the Pappy 15 says. And that's, that's why it's called poor man's. Yep. So, Hey, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put some comments down at the bottom. Give us, uh, you know, let us know what you'd like to review. Give us some feedback, constructive criticism. Tell him to keep his lips out of my liquor cabinet. And <laughs> or if you want to send us something that you want us to review, we'll gladly take it. I'm glad to That's take true. It. We, we will drink whiskey. <laughs> hey, from AM Whiskey, you have yourself a wonderful time. And keep the pores flowing.